Hello and welcome! There is a lot that you can get out of installing custom firmware to your consoles, like being able to play homebrew titles or using utilities that make your consoles a little more usable. Typically, the older the console is, the more mature the homebrew community is. However, since the Wii U was built with security first, it doesn't currently have custom firmware. However, it does have exploits to exploit with payloads that gets close enough to custom firmware that you can do almost anything you'd like on it. So join me to see how you can install the Trimizu payload and a brief glimpse on what you can do with it. Right after a quick message from this video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by 16-Bit Store. At 16-Bit Store, we design and 3D print a variety of items for your video games and consoles. From our styluses to our display stands, we take pride in our designs for all products that we create and the finished quality of our prints. If you are interested or just want to help out the channel, why not visit the 16-Bit Store today? And if you use offer code 16BitReview on Etsy, you'll get 15% off your order when you buy two or more items. Now, installing TreeMizu is shockingly easy in comparison to many of my other install guides, as the only thing that you need is an SD card with 32 gigs of storage. As always, please follow the actual guides that I have linked below if you wish to do this yourself as it'll go into more detail than I'm capable of doing in a video, or it can have newer methods that might come out since the release of this video that will either make installing the payload a lot easier, or perhaps there might just be custom firmware for your Wii U, making this guide completely obsolete. I'm making this guy in particular to show you just my experience with installing this exploit and how I overcame any issues that would have came up, at least during my time installing it. To install TreeMizu, simply populate the SD card with the TreeMizu package that you downloaded from the link provided by the guide, and to exploit the Wii U, we'll be using the web browser exploit to run unsigned code from the SD card. So just boot your Wii U browser, go to WiiUexploit.xyz, press the install button, and hold B on the gamepad. The reason we're holding B is not to install the payload just yet. We first need to back up the internal NAND storage. This way, if anything goes wrong with the install of TreeMizu, your console will be recoverable if you have the correct skill sets and tools, rather than it just becoming a permanent boat anchor. Once your NAND backup is complete, it does take a considerable amount of time, we can then go back to the browser, reload our exploit page, and press and hold X this time to load the payload installer. This will install the TreeMizu payload to the Wii U's health and safety app, and can be configured to load on the system startup which makes reloading the exploits and any uh, unofficial software that you put onto it a lot easier. Once that's done, congratulations! Your Wii U is ready to run Homebrew. In the future, if you do need to use any of the payload tools or backing up your NAND again because uh, something happened, simply press and hold the X button on boot or reload the health and safety menu if uh, the health and safety app isn't being loaded on start to reload TreeMizu. Or if you're just trying to access the Homebrew channel, you can just launch the Me Maker app if you want the Homebrew channel. Now that your Wii U can run Homebrew, you can use it for whatever you'd like. I was able to run RetroArch and play some classic games that would never come out nowadays, while also using some of the utilities to back up my games and installing my disk backups to the system. Now I will go into more details about backing up your Wii U titles in another video, but please do note at the time of recording you are limited on what you can do with the Wii U in terms of installing applications to the system. 
For example, I had issues with reinstalling eShop games that I backed up with Dumpling. However, that might change as time goes on. So please check back in with the relevant uh, Wii U homebrew forums to keep up to date with the latest Wii U homebrew and news. But anyways, that's how you can install the Tree Museum payload on your Wii U. As always, thank you ever so much for watching this video. I hope you have yourself a good day, and as always, take care.